Yo, it's a pretty sick 740. What's up guys, it's Drifts and Lifts here. All right, so today we're just hanging out in the garage here. Um, we are doing a lip swap on Miss Huff. So I figured I wanted to change up the look of the front end just a tad. Um, this right here is a 240 lip. So this is off a 1991 Volvo 240. I've already shaved all the, normally there's like another piece that comes out here that will wouldn't would have normally bolted into the uh, 240 bumper but so I, I shaved that off because the way we're gonna line it up with this is gonna be flush with this um, I don't know I kind of just like the look of the the aggressive lip style that the 240 has the 740s also have it if you guys look uh, at Goldie here this is an 80s 740 lip modded to fit the 90 front end um, it looks all right but I think the angle that it kind of digs down, if you know what I mean, uh, is a little bit too aggressive. So what I like about this 240 lip is it's kind of mild. Like it comes down, uh, this spot will probably end up being starting right here. And then it's just slowly going to kind of come down. This is going to meet up with right here. And we'll have this extra little lip piece. It'll also be a little bit lower because this is thicker than the factory lip. So yeah, I don't know, something cool to do in the garage day. I figured I'd film it for you guys. Uh, so we'll see the outcome and what it looks like. And these 240 lips you can find on basically any 240. So um, if it looks good, then maybe it's a mod that you guys might wanna do. So we're gonna get started here. How I'm gonna do this is take off the factory lip. Uh, so we're just gonna be right down to here. And then I'm basically gonna drill holes. I just got a $14 budget like Walmart drill it's called skill um, I got that from some some guy on Craigslist so hopefully that works I just got a new drill bit we're gonna kind of do it a bit janky because this car is a drift car and some zap straps holding some stuff together is not a problem um, we'll paint over it and hopefully it looks all right all said and done so yeah we're gonna take that off and then probably do like you know 10 mounts like across the whole thing uh, so it's nice and secure do a couple right here and we should be we should be laughing so we're gonna get started I'm gonna pull this uh, this factory lip off and see where we can get the mounts all right so I just crawled under here uh, as you can see normally there would have been like a clip holding this on there's these two Phillips screws here one more here uh, in total we got six Phillips screws holding this lip on so this should just kind of those are actually pretty rusted in there so <laughs> Yeah, I don't want to strip it out. Okay, me and Scott are gonna figure this out. Oh, there we go, we're good. Cool. All right guys, so our stock lip is <clears throat> is now off. Uh, we, we have the 240 lip up here. So on Scott's side, that is a perfect flush. Um, so it looks like we have an extra kind of inch of length here. So what I'm gonna do, it's not the best way to do it, it's kind of janky but I'm gonna actually cut an inch out of the middle and then zap strap it together. I'm probably just gonna paint red over it after all said and done. So this is slowly becoming something you guys may not want to do. I don't know. I don't really care about some zap strap holes. It kind of goes with the look of this car anyways. So yeah, I think that's what we're gonna do because um, there's not really any way I'm gonna get this lip to line up perfectly and actually look like sort of an OEM fit without shortening it. So that's what we're gonna do right now. I think we're going to cut it right out of the middle here. So two, two cuts and then bring them in, zap strap, good to go. All right guys, so I had to go to Lordco to get a very, a little smaller drill bit because the one that I had was too big and it was making pretty big holes in that lip. That's not what I want. Um, so we just cruised in Turbo Scott's new car and we found a new name for it. Uh, it makes perfect sense. So. There's a puff sticker. It just came with this sticker in here. It's a red manual sedan, just like Miss Huff. It's only right if we call it Miss Puff, right? <laughs> um, another thing is the turbo seems to blow a bit of smoke. So every time, uh, sometimes when you fire it up, it puffs a big, you know, cloud of blue smoke out. So uh, Miss Puff, that's the fucking name of this car. It is settled. Yeah, it's settled. All right, guys. So. We got our we got our janky zap strap holes holding this thing together. So I chopped about an inch out of it, uh, give or take. 
seem to do just the job. Me and Scott hold it up here. His is flush on his side and mine is flush. I'm gonna do a little bit of trimming um, right here, this kind of area, just make it more smooth so it kind of butts up with the, the stock bumper a bit better. But, oh man, I'm still, cause this is gonna look really cool, I think. Yeah, it will. Okay, and then we're gonna do zap straps, you know, through this area and all along, just kind of make it solid and it should be good. So yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get to it. All right, so that's kind of the finished product. I just dropped it on the ground. Uh, it's all zap strapped in there, as you can see. There's zap straps, I know, I'm terrible. But yeah, I like really dig that. I think that looks freaking sweet. I don't know, I kind of, I'm just a fan of the, the lips that angle down. It looks more like a, like a Trans Am racer from the 60s or something. You know how they had like little, uh, always little splitters kind of thing on them? I don't know, I'm digging that. It looks pretty sweet. Yeah, it'll come around the side. Boom. It's a little bit lower than that lip used to be. So I couldn't get my jack out from the front. I had to put it on blocks quite substantially. Um, yeah, I don't know. That's kind of cool. I'm digging it. It looks like, uh, it, it almost like matches the roof spoiler that I have a little bit. It's kind of like a little more aggressive or whatever. I don't know. Anyways guys, that's like basically a wrap up of the video. I uh, figured I'd show you that. Just a little project I wanted to try out today. Um, yeah, tell me, tell me what you guys think. If you, uh, if you like the looks of it, I don't know. I think it's pretty sweet. Uh, it's a little bit cooler than the 740 lips because the 740 lips just come right down, whereas that's a more gradual, uh, gradual angle. So I don't know. That's pretty sweet. Miss Huff looks dope, anyways. So I'm gonna clean out my garage and yeah, get ready for some drifts. Stay tuned, guys, because uh, lots of cool stuff coming up. We're going to that cool secret spot pretty soon so um yeah uh we're gonna go out there with a big crew of volvos have a good drift sesh it'll be fun um that's yeah pretty much about it i'm gonna lots of cool videos coming for the channel just just stay subscribe stay tuned be all good like and subscribe for curdled volvo milk peace out